Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here. Guys, today is a very special day. I have completed, this is my 100 video. Uh, and we have also completed 2.5k subscribers. So thank you very much. Those who are uh, part of my life for last uh, 4 months. Uh, not exactly 4 months, 3 months, 3 and a half months roughly. So today I have come up with a very special problem. It's the original one and uh, it was framed for uh, an occasion like this. So let's uh, discuss the statement of uh, this problem. A sample of monatomic gas is uh, kept in an insulated horizontal cylinder and piston system of cross-section area A. There are two identical springs of spring constant K attached at the end of the cylinder and the piston as shown in the figure. It is given that initially both the springs are in natural length and the initial gas volume is V0. There is a charge uh, capacitor of capacitance C having initial charge of Q0. The, the two plates of capacitors can be joined with each other using a switch. Initially switch is open. What should be the value of Q0 so that the displacement of piston in equilibrium is X0 when switch is closed. So also it is given neglect any friction and heat capacity of wires, piston and cylinders are massless. Okay, atmospheric pressure is P0. So it's a very beautiful problem, <clears throat> very nice problem. So let's uh, discuss this uh, question. So what exactly is going to happen when we are going to close this switch? Uh, there are conducting wires, there is no mention of resistances. So this capacitor is going to <clears throat> lose all its energy how much energy it is going to lose it will be losing q naught square by 2c amount of energy which will come out in the form of heat so let's discuss the concept here that is what i have been uh, i have written here so number one point is when the switch is closed and the capacitor loses all its uh, stored energy in the form of heat almost instantly this heat is absorbed by the gas which causes the piston cylinder system to move all right so <clears throat> instead of uh, using a heater or uh, by some other mechanism <clears throat> i'm using capacitor energy in order to supply heat to the gas second point is in equilibrium net force on the system will be zero uh, that means the two springs must be having equal uh, compressions in order to balance the forces on piston and cylinder separately so when we are going to draw the FBD of uh, piston separately and uh, cylinder separately, you can see that both the springs must have uh, equal compressions. So here it is. <coughs> Let's see this part. Uh, when this piston is moving by some distance of X and here this is moving by a distance of X. Let's draw the forces on this uh, piston. This side it is P gas into A and uh, kx and this is p naught a similarly here also you you will see kx force here p naught into a and p gas into a that's the reason the compression in both the springs are going to be same so let's talk about this equilibrium position so volume of gas i can write as uh, <coughs> v naught plus 2ax v naught is the initial volume I think it is not mentioned in the question here anywhere. Okay, it is mentioned here. Initial volume is V0. All right. Now, since this is going by distance of X, this is also going by distance of X. So, new volume at X will become V0 plus 2X. I'm taking that X as equilibrium. X0 also I can write. And this pressure of the gas by balancing force on the piston we can get and that is going to be P gas is equal to P naught plus Kx by A. This is very very simple here. After this we are going to use uh, first law of thermodynamics. So heat rejected or supplied by the gas, change in internal energy and this is the work done by the gas. So let's uh, see how exactly we can calculate this change in internal energy. So here if you see, if you see I can write uh, internal energy as NCVT. So it will become N 3 by 2 that will become NRT and NRT value I can substitute as PV. If you see here initially uh, springs were relaxed so P gas must be P naught in the beginning. Alright. So from here I can write this delta U I can write 
इंटरनल एनर्जी एट एक्स माइनस इंटरनल एनर्जी इनिशियली सो इंटरनल एनर्जी थ्री बाई टू आई कैन टेक कॉमन एंड यू एक्स विल बी थ्री बाई टू पी एक्स वी एक्स माइनस पी नॉट वी नॉट हियर एज यू कैन सी सो आई नो द पी एक्स वैल्यू आई नो द वी एक्स वैल्यू वेन आई एम गोइंग टू सब्सिट्यूट दीज वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन एंड सिंप्लीफाई मेनी टर्म्स आर गोइंग टू गेट कैंसल सो आई एम नॉट एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस कैलकुलेशन पार्ट बट आई होप यू कैन ईजिली डू दैट दो नॉट मेनी पीपल कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस स्टेप दैट्स माई फील ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो If you have uh, tried it without seeing the solution, just let me know in the comment section if you if you could crack this part here. So when we simplify this, I am going to get this delta U as three by two k x v naught by a plus three p naught a x plus three k x square. We can write x naught also here. So that's fine. Another one is work done by the gas. So this is also important, and uh, students make mistake. So if you see. This work done by gas, that is equal to energy stored in the springs plus work done against the atmosphere. Or you can do integral p gas dv also. That will be slightly tricky. This is much uh, easier to think. Here also, lot of students I have seen they make mistake. When springs are present in the piston, what they do is they they write that energy supplied q. one part of this is uh, internal energy change one part is doing work and one part is uh, storing potential energy this is totally wrong by the way this is totally wrong in fact the work done by the gas only it will uh, one portion of that will be storing energy into the system and one portion will be doing work against the atmosphere so please be careful about this fact when we simplify this half kx square energy in one of the spring then for second one then i can write here uh, this uh, work done against the atmosphere if you see atmosphere this side is compressed by uh, ax against the pressure of p not similarly other side also it is pushed by a volume of ax pressure is constant so directly i can write this work done as p not ax plus p not ax which is 2p not ax now i have this delta u and i have this w gas so i am going to use first law of thermodynamics and i'll be substituting these values and if we simplify we are going to get this q not is equal to root of 8 kc x not square plus 3 kc v not by a plus 10 p not ac times x not and this is going to be the answer for this question they might give this type of uh, values they can adjust in such a way that it may give integer type of answer also but it's a very lovely problem very nice problem so if you have enjoyed this enjoyed the discussion of it so please uh, leave a like comment and also share this video with other people and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video bye bye